Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have a little different video for you. We're going to review two keto food bars, meal replacement bars, whatever you want to call them, energy bars, protein bars. We all know what they are. Um, obviously all not, not all bars are created equal. And I have my coffee. Mm. Because, you know, coffee. So I did a lot of research. I went online, I've read, I've watched videos, trying to find a meal replacement or energy bar of some sort, a portable food source for me and my lifestyle. Now, I'm diabetic, so that definitely is something we have to take into consideration. So even if it says keto or no sugar added, low carbs, it doesn't mean that it works for me as a diabetic. So I had a little bit of an issue there um, watching reviews and listening to folks talk and then seeing, you know, a non-diabetic person check their blood sugar and get some crazy spikes. I could only imagine what that would do to me in my body. Um, I have something called insulin resistance, so I have a really hard time with sugars, natural and otherwise, in my body and affecting my diabetes. Now, because of my lifestyle, I like to ride my bike. I love to go walking. I love to travel. I really have been struggling the past three or four years trying to find a portable food source for myself to have that I could throw in my backpack or if I'm gonna be riding my bike for an hour or more, I need something to eat to fuel the rest of my ride. So that was re the reason I went out looking for this, you know, what options I had. So I have, narrowed it down to two brands. I found MCT Bar, that their claim was that these are, um, you know, keto approved, low carbohydrate, low sugar option. And then I found Perfect Keto Bars. Again, another option for me that says, you know, this company went and said that they were, you know, very low glycemic impact and everything. You know, but you see this all the time. Keto is going to be the hot button word right now. So if you go down the, the aisle at the grocery store where all the protein bars are, every brand I saw had a keto version and not one of them was keto as far as my keto goes. And there's a million different ketos. So I won't say they weren't ketogenic because they said that they were, but they aren't clean ketogenic. And that's what, that's what I need to help me. So... I watched the video, I cannot remember his name, but the doctor that created these bars, he um, ate one and did every 20 minutes. He had a continuous blood glucose monitor on his body and he had, you know, really good results. As you would expect, he created the bar. But my question and what I couldn't find an answer for is how are these affecting a diabetic person? So we did our own test. I'll spare you the details, but I had to Prick my finger 10 times, five for each bar. I know, right? So what I did is um, on Friday evening, I didn't have, I didn't eat after lunch, right? Now my blood sugars are running a little high right now, which I'm dealing with my, my primary doctor. But it honestly, at this point in my test, it wasn't where I started, it's where over this 90 to 120 minute window, where did my blood sugar rise and fall? And how quickly did it rise and fall? So first we started with this. This is an almond butter brownie bar. The ingredients are almond butter, soluble tapioca fiber, cacao butter, grass-fed collagen, organic cocoa, almonds, sunflower lecithin, medium chain triglyceride oil or MCT oil. This is derived from coconut. Sea salt, natural flavors, stevia extract. So the sweetener in here is stevia, which I know I'm pretty good with stevia. So I felt very comfortable eating this bar. So what I did is I checked my blood sugar. It was 148. Like I said, it was a little high to start for me. Um, now, as a point of reference, I do take a medication once a week. It's a shot, but I'm not on insulin. I do control my diabetes with diet and exercise. So. The shot that I take once a week will help my body process this, but it's not insulin. It's not going to lower it. So just as a point of reference, 
I checked my blood sugar every 20 minutes. So over an hour and 40 minutes, the first time I checked it, 20 minutes later, it went up eight points. Okay, I was okay with that. Uh, 20 minutes later, it went up an additional three points. So it started at 148, it went to 156. At 40 minutes, it was only at 159. At 60 minutes, so at the one hour mark, I was at 161. And that was the highest that I got. So I went up 13 points on my blood sugar and then 20 minutes later, it dropped down back to normal and actually lower than normal. It dropped down to 146, so it went, it went down. So I didn't have any extended high sugars. So it tells me that my body handled this pretty well and I would be able to utilize these for when I exercise, when I travel. It could be a meal replacement. Um, we'll talk about price at the end and why this probably won't be something I just nibble and snack on but we're not there yet. So this brand, this bar, I only tested the one, worked very well for me and I'm super happy because this I've been on a ketogenic lifestyle for, it'll be four years in June and this is the first product that I have found that I can purchase you know, over the counter, if you will, or mainstream, go to the grocery store, although I did have to order these, but that I could, a prepackaged food that worked for me. So I was super excited. Then I, I had ordered these at the same time. On Saturday, no, Sunday, I decided we were gonna test the MCT bars. The ingredient label is very similar. Now this is a banana flavored bar, but their ingredients are almond butter, chicory root fiber, uh, grass-fed bovine collagen, almonds, cocoa butter, sunflower lecithin, uh, Beauty Blend Organic MCT Oil from Coconut. So they're using MCT from Coconut as well. Uh, vitamin E and biotin, which is great because that helps my hair and nails. Uh, bananas, natural flavor, cinnamon, uh, sea salt, monk fruit extract. So their sweetener in here is monk fruit. The sweetener in here is stevia. I will tell you the texture of the two bars was very similar. The Perfect Keto definitely, definitely had the, the stevia aftertaste. And there's no getting around it. If they would blend it this with monk fruit or erythritol in stevia, mitigates that funky taste. To me, I don't care. I'm used to it and it, it's not as um, unpalatable to me as it is to some people because I've, I've eaten it for years. So, But that's sweetened with stevia. This brand is sweetened with monk fruit. And that really was the one ingredient difference. Now, this does have banana in it. How much, I don't know. It's at the very end of the, um, at the spectrum. But I can tell you that it did affect me a little differently. So the MCT bar, I took my blood sugar fasting overnight. Now I will tell you in the morning, I always run high. So my sugar was 164. 20 minutes later, it was 183. It shot up 19 points in 20 minutes. I was freaking out. I was like, oh no. Like, I was really hoping that these bars would be um, an option as well. So I really started panicking. I'm like, 19 points and it's only been 20 minutes. Like, that's a lot. Now, mind you, it does have the banana. 20 minutes later, it only went to 187. So an additional four points. So at 40 minutes, I peaked and I started going down after that. So this worked, to the turnaround was super quick. Then uh, I checked it again and it was 174. So it was down 13 points in that 20 minute, which is great. And then at the end, at the, at the hour and 40 minute mark, it was 161. So it was down even lower both times it was lower than where I started. So I panicked thinking if it's the first 20 minutes and I'm already up 19 points, you know, that made me a little nervous. However, I give myself 20 points, you know, if I eat something within that hour, it raises it 20 points, that is okay for me. This ended up raising at 23 points, but it was back down within, um, 80 minutes, which is not bad at all. And at the end of the day, I was down 13 points again. So I, and I was down three points from where I started. So my takeaway guys is I have two brands of keto bars that I can have 
that will sustain my exercise, my hunger for travel, portability, all the things that I need out of a protein type bar or a, a meal replacement bar or whatever. These both brands fit the bill. Price-wise, they're a little expensive. I believe a box of six bars of the MCT is like $15.88. Yes, and I've never seen them in store. I believe you can only buy them online. I would have to double check that, but I'm pretty sure you can only get these online. The keto bars are $3.33 a piece. Again, I got a box with, and I spent $30, but I feel like I had a coupon code. But I got a box of six of the Perfect Keto shipped to me. I actually ordered two boxes of these to save on shipping, and I feel like I had a coupon code. Um, this box came with chocolate chip cookie dough, cinnamon roll, and then the almond butter. And the one negative, I guess I would say if I had one besides, you know, the price, it's not as attainable for everybody to get this product. To me, I'm going to budget for it because it's important, you know, that I have this, but I have the income to do it. The MCT bars came with Lemon Boost, uh, Caramel Sea Salt, Cocoa, Berry Beautiful, and Cookie Dough as well. And like I said, there was $15.88. On the Keto Bar website, I could either get a variety pack, and the only variety pack option that they have is this one that is six bars and it comes with those three flavors. Any other option that I had, I have to spend almost $40 for a 12 pack of these keto bars. Um, and they only come in one flavor. So, you know, that, that's kind of a drawback for me. The other thing I will mention is their shelf life is not super long. I just received these in the mail and both of these are only good until October of 21. And this is because they're clean products, you know, so they're not going to have a super long shelf life. So I'm not going to buy a ton of bars. I'm going to buy what I think I'll need. Um, and at this point, I will have two boxes of the MCT and I will have two boxes of the keto bars. And that should get me through the summer. Um, I wish the keto, perfect keto had more variety box, like maybe a box with one of each of their flavors would be fun. But such is life. I mean, when you find something that works, you use it. So for me, I needed this to be a priority in my life. So this is where I will budget funds, you know, to make sure that I can have these for what I need them for. Now, in the description box below for the keto bars, I have a code. And if you click on that code, you'll save $15 on your first order of $65 or more. So that's a big help, right? It'll get you $15. I think I get $15. And then, you know, that will be able to at least get you to a good, a good sampling and a good shipment. And I think it's free shipping on $39, $29 or more. I believe you get free shipping. The MCT bars, I actually have a link that I got off of Facebook. And I got my first box free and I paid $5.99 shipping. Um, I will put a link below to the website, but I don't have a coupon code or anything for the MCT. You can ask them if they could send you the link for, to try the first your first box for free. So, I mean, there's that. These are a little less expensive, but they are both delicious. Um, they're both very similar. And I think they will both work out well if you do a ketogenic diet or like me, if you're diabetic. Now, if you're just diabetic, these are pretty high in fat um, and low in protein. So like this one is 13 fats, 11 protein. It's not the best macro for keto, but that's not what I'm using it for. The perfect keto, the fat is 19 and the protein is 10. So this is a much better macro, the perfect keto, if you're using it for a meal replacement or something of that nature. The MCT bars, they really market these as a dessert bar, but again, I can interchange them for my exercise.
So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. I am not a doctor, I'm not a nutritionist, and I did not get these for free. I purchased these with my own money. I just wanted to share my opinion and how they affected my blood sugar being a diabetic because I didn't see a lot of information out there for the diabetic community on how one of these bars would work. I will tell you the Quest bar and the Builder bar, the gentleman, the doctor that made these, he had a video and he was testing his own blood sugar and eating all these bars. As a non-diabetic, they raised his sugar scary. I would never eat a Quest bar for myself as a diabetic. I'm just throwing it out there. So I'm going to say that I, I haven't seen anything in the store on the shelf in this family of food that I would consider um, utilizing for myself. All right, guys, like I said, if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I will be happy to answer, happy to answer if I can. Um, like I said, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm just a girl that rides her bike and needed some food to stick in my pocket. All right, everybody, you have a great one and I will talk with you later. Bye and enjoy your coffee.